Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio today. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. And don't forget you can order my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, as well as t-shirts from my website, which is on your screen right now. You can also find great information there about upcoming workshops, retreats, and yoga travel adventure. In addition, I have longer video practices on the website Yoga You Online. Um, they have a, something called the Practice Channel there, look for that, as well as look for archived lectures that I've given on a variety of health topics. So today I'm excited to share with you a variation of boat pose or Navasana. Um, oftentimes when we do boat pose traditionally, we come into the pose and the idea is just to keep it very stable and still. Um, and we don't want to rock the boat. Uh, today, I want you to rock the boat, baby. So you remember that old song, Don't Rock the Boat, Baby. Today's song is Rock the Boat, Baby. And so we're going to actually allow the body to move a little bit, but we're going to keep the structure of our boat or our dinghy, however you want to think about your vessel, um, still kind of intact, even though there's going to be a little bit of movement. So I'm going to show this to you from a front view, and then I'll show it to you from the side view as well. So bring your feet out in front of you. We're going to do three different variations. So hook your hands behind your knees, and then as if you were opening up a drawbridge, let your torso tip back till your elbows are straight, still holding on firmly. Instead of tipping the head back, tip it forward just a little bit so you're looking straight ahead. Then walk your feet in an inch or two and let your feet hover just a little bit off the floor. So my feet are about two or three inches off the floor and I've got this nice firm support with the legs and the arms. So I'm gonna rock a little bit side to side as if my little dinghy was just uh, passed by another boat with a motor on it, creating a wake. And then I'm gonna go a little forward and back. And that's actually the challenging direction to keep a little integrity in the belly and lower back. That's phase one. Phase two is to lift the shins up parallel with the floor and then do the same thing. Allow your boat to rock a little bit side to side. If I'm out here uh, talking while showing this to you, you can be breathing while you're at home trying this out. I'm rocking a little forward and back. It's not a huge movement. And then I'm gonna go ahead and release my hands for a moment. And then again, I'm gonna let my boat rock a little bit side to side and then maybe a little bit forward and back. For me, I find the forward and back action really quite requires that I have some good attention on the core. Bring the feet down for a moment, take a little rest. You might let your, your rib cage slide around a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that from a little bit of a side view. So again, phase one, I tip back, I lean back, my feet hover just a wee bit off the floor. I'm still holding on as I do a little bit of side to side rocking, Ooh, just a little bit of forward and back. I tell you, it doesn't take much. A half an inch or an inch forward and back is very interesting. And then bring the shins up. Again, a little bit of side to side rocking. A little bit of ooh, forward and back rocking. Uh -huh. And I'm not going very far, but I can really feel my glutes, my thighs, my abdomen kicking in. And then go ahead and release the arms and do a little bit of movement with the hands-free version. Of course, this is the most challenging one in some ways because I don't have that easy support of the hands and the legs. And of course there are other versions with the legs higher, but we're just doing those three today. Then come back down and as you settle, you're gonna let your lower rib cage rock around a little bit, a little hula hoop action. So that is Rock the Boat Baby version of boat pose. Definitely play around with that a little bit. Um, if the lower back is sensitive, keep holding on to the legs and keep the feet lower. That's the easiest version. Um, and then maybe gradually over time, work your way up to the other two variations. But have some fun with that. Really just 10, 20, 30 seconds at the most is really plenty. And I'm still feeling some really nice effects uh, from the stabilizing musculature around the midsection, really having to work nicely to keep my, my dinghy intact. So uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget you can continue to follow me on Baxter Bell Yoga, both on Facebook, uh, Facebook and YouTube. Until the next time, keep those boats safe. Namaste.